And we are here to talk about refusing victim mentality. Victim mentality is being encouraged. It's in the population. Social media has been encouraging it. Colleges, believe it or not, have been encouraging it since about 2012. I finished college in 2006. If you're interested in learning more about this, I am. I haven't finished it yet, but I am reading the book, The Coddling of the American Mind. And that coddling, when we coddle, we very much give the message, you can't handle this and you shouldn't have to handle this. And the message that people take is, oh, well, I can't handle. And it just should be better. And then we should all over ourselves and we should all over life. And I mean it how it sounds. We should on ourselves. And we shit on life and we shit on everything and everything is shitty. And then we wonder why we feel shitty and depressed because the lens that we've accidentally been taught or lifted up to look through is a victim mentality. I want to be really clear on this because getting mad at people for blaming the victim is hot right now. There's a moment if you have been victimized. In my story, I was abused as a child. I was neglected. Every parent around me, I had three of them. Personality disorder. Means I didn't get my needs met. Means I didn't have emotional intelligence modeled. I had emotional reactivity modeled. If anything went wrong, my mom had a victim mentality. I can't believe this is happening to me. Why does this always happen to me? The lens for life was either I'm winning, yay, smiles, or everything is against me and I am the victim. So I have had to work to wring that out of my system, to teach my inner child from my wise woman part, hey, I don't want to do this. This is easy to slide into. And I want to offer my inner child some different ways of being. Now, the trick is that my joke, that's not a joke, is we need to have that moment, but then we need to pass through. With a victim mentality, we don't feel that feeling and move on. We sort of grab victim mentality as, ha, 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 this is now going to be my identity. And the reason for that is because of a lot of things. The pattern, like I described in my family system of what we see modeled and what we don't see modeled contributing to that pattern, just not having coping skills. And so we feel continuously victimized because we don't really have skills to empower ourselves. But another reason that it develops is because it becomes a dysfunctional comfort zone. If I walk the world like everything's out to get me, And then there's a rock that I trip over. I go, of course, I was right. See, I knew it. Even this rock is there to fuck up my day. So there's a proof that makes a cycle in this victim mentality when that's our lens. Because we're literally playing I spy with what's about to fuck me over. And then every single thing like that rock becomes this giant proof of how right I am. And can you hear how a human ego would love that? I am so right. Everything's out to get me. This is the development of victim mentality or martyr syndrome. Personal responsibility instead of that victim mentality when I trip over that rock either goes, ooh, I need to look where I'm going or I'm going to hurt myself. Or laughs. And lets it roll off like, oh, well, that was graceful. And just kind of keeps flowing with life. 